back, relax, and get out your phones because it's time to get your pet questions answered on our show. We're joined by Dr. Katie Spaulding from Dakin Humane Society to answer your pet questions live on the air. So nice to have you here, Dr. Spaulding. Nice to be here. So we're encouraging people to call 413-377-2001 right now to get your questions answered. We're going to start with a Facebook question. So Amanda wants to know, well, she has a beagle that rubs his rear on the carpet at least 20 times a day. <laughs> and he's been to the vet, has a clean bill of health, no issues, but it drives her nuts. How can she stop him from doing it? Um, well, usually um, if, a, if a dog is rubbing their bottom on the carpet, there could be some medical issues associated with that, um, impacted anal glands, allergies, fleas. If all that has already been ruled out by her veterinarian, it could be that um, it's a behavior type thing where he's kind of marking his territory. So um, she could consult a behaviorist and see if there's anything she could do about that. Um, we do at Dakin have some behavior information available. Um, she could call our number at 413-781-4000 extension 129 and maybe they could give her some helpful tips on That's how to help. It's great advice. So hopefully Amanda was able to hear that so that she can call and make sure that her beagle isn't doing that 20 times a day. <laughs> so we can't ignore the friend that you brought with you today. Really quickly, we have to mention Max, and uh, he has the cutest little face, and he is up for adoption. Tell us about Max. So Max is an approximately five-year-old um, <laughs> neutered male Shih Tzu who's available for adoption, and he's very cute, as you can see. He's <laughs> won the hearts of everybody here this morning. So. And he's got a great personality, too. He's so loving and, and fun <laughs> as well. So uh, thanks so much for bringing him, as always. We love when you bring animals, and hopefully he'll find a good home. We're going to go on to another Facebook question. We're still taking callers right now as well. Uh, Corey wants to know if pets really have a sense of time. He said that is to say if, for instance, a dog owner has gone to work and then comes home later in the day, does the dog really sense that his owner's been gone for hours? Um, that's something that I think is a difficult question to answer. In terms of dogs having a sense of time, my dog wakes me up for breakfast at the same time every day and for dinner she's ready for, you know, at the same time every day ready to eat. So I think she has some concept of time, but saying if they know how long their owners have been gone or things like that, I think is a hard question to mm -hmm. answer. I've heard in, in other places that um, you know, they, they don't really have any concept of time, but whether that's true, it's hard to say. Okay, so yeah, it is hard to know. Yeah. If only we could talk to our pets, yeah. right? And they could talk back to us. If they could us. tell us. That would be great. Okay, we do have a caller on the phone. Hello? Hello? Hi, who are we speaking with? Uh, are you speaking with Axel? Leon? Hi, Axel, how are you? Not too bad. I'm doing pretty good. I just have a, I'm a little concerned. Um, I have a, a year, a one year old uh, Staffordshire Blue, ter uh, Blue Terrier. I'm sorry. Oh, we're here, Axel. We can hear you. Okay. Um, she's about a year old, and and for the last month, she's been ended up with like little spots, and I've been hearing it could be um, called hot spots or something like that. Of hair, little spots of hair loss or red yes, spots. Yes. Yes. Little circles. Yep. Okay. And this is a pitbull terrier, you said. Yes. Okay. Um, that specific breed is prone to a type of mite called Demodex. Um, that's something that I would want to have ruled out first. Um, they can also have allergies and things like that. Um, if they have fleas and are itching at themselves a lot, they can have little patches of hair loss too. So um, I'd recommend seeing a veterinarian to rule out all those kind of ectoparasites, allergies, and make sure that there's not an infection going on that could be easily treated. Oh, okay. But it's nothing too serious. It's more just uncomfortable for the dog, would you say? A lot of hard? times it's, it's easily treated. Mm -hmm. And yeah, they can get, if it's the mite, they can get secondary infections, which can be uncomfortable and itchy. So Exactly, yeah. yeah. It, it, it actually looks like it's irritating her. Thank you so much, Axel. Hopefully, uh, Dr. Spaulding helped. I'm sure that it was great information. You, now you can get your dog some help for sure. Thank you for your time. I appreciate Have it. Have a great weekend. Thanks, Axel. You too. Bye. Thank you so much, Dr. Spaulding. We'll be back in a bit, so you'll have a chance to get your pet questions answered live on the air when we come back. All you have to do is give us a call, 413-377-2001, and she could answer your question live on the air. Coming up on the